Let's do a little bit more practice on this. Go back to structure and blocks, please. And right now, you'll see that we have the main navigation in the primary menu block. That's a good place to have it. Of course, if you move that around, your primary navigation would be in a completely different place. You'll notice down here at the bottom, we've got featured bottom, first, second, third, and footer first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And right now, powered by Drupal, and the footer menu is in the footer fifth location. And right now, we have no disabled blocks. Let's go ahead and put one of our menus in the footer first block region. Scroll back up to the top here, please. Find your user account menu. And let's go ahead and put that in footer first. You'll see that it immediately pops down. Go ahead and click Save Blocks. And go back to your site. And if you scroll down, now your user account, instead of being up at the top, is down here in the footer. Once again, you can place pretty much any block anywhere for any purpose. Go back to Structure and Block Layout. And let's talk about removing a block. Let's say for some crazy reason, I no longer wanted to have that powered by Drupal in my footer fifth block. Well, it's quite simple to remove it. Click on the drop down and say none and save blocks. Scrolling down now places the powered by Drupal block in the disabled block region, which means, of course, it will no longer show up on my site. And indeed, it's totally gone.